we found a swarm of bees in a hedge that had been locked. So I cut it out with a hedge the other day and we borrowed these bees' roof to house these wild guys. So the rule of thumb in beekeeping is either move things less than three foot or more than three miles, because that's about their ranging. So because we moved these more than three foot and less than three miles, we put a branch in front so they knew that they were in a different place, so they'd reorient to their new surroundings and hopefully get the flyers all back in this one and not in their old home. So we can see that a, a colony has swarmed, which is their natural reproduction. So once a colony um, runs out of space or it's not quite happy where it is, or it simply is time oh, to reproduce. Times are good. Um, the old queen will leave with half of the colony. They'll, they tend to settle in a bush and wait to find a new home. I think what's happened here is that the bees are quite happy staying in the bush and they've actually mm -hmm. started building wild comb. We've housed them in here. We borrowed a, a frame full of honey while we locked them up for the weekend. So they've smashed this all gone and they've either eaten it or stored it in their own hive, in their own comb here. And this is really great as well because one of the, the downfalls of, of keeping bees in hives is that the, the comb can often be infected with diseases and pesticides that, that build up over time. So they've made this comb completely from scratch um, so they shouldn't have any problems. Of course Varroa is a problem but hopefully over time they can develop a natural resistance to these diseases. Um, and hopefully we'll see more wild bees. The fact that these guys of girls even <laughs> <laughs> have survived for probably two weeks or more in a hedge means they're probably a pretty healthy colony, mm. I would have thought. Mm. So uh, we'll see, we'll do them, we'll do a few tests for some diseases on them, you know, over the course of the next few weeks. Uh, see how they're doing and hopefully, you know, hopefully they'll choose to uh, a light on some some nice straight combs but we'll see what happens so i think they're grateful for their new home anyway and again another another good reason to keep our hedgerows it really does keep our wildlife alive <laughs>